they kind of corral everyone, you know, they call the heats, tell you what lane you're in, everyone gets in your, your little corral for 10 minutes. And uh, in that 10 minutes, I usually, usually dry heave, puke, uh, you know, just the nerves of that waiting, that anticipation of, I think it's half knowing like, this is about to really hurt. Um, like I'm gonna, I'm about to push myself to a level that's not enjoyable. Um, but then also like the fear. I'm, I'm always so scared going out of the competition floor, you know, uh, thinking all these guys are more capable than me. Like what if things don't go right? Uh, just being really scared, you know, all these guys have trained all year to win. No one's showing up trying to win second place. Everyone's there to try to get first place. So it's, that's pretty nerve wracking to me. What are we, uh, May 2nd right now? We're like two and a half weeks out from regionals. The East Regionals first week, first week to go. What weekend is that, 19th, May 19th? How's training been? Well, training's good. Um, no, not, not hitting any crazy numbers, no PRs, anything like that, but just, you know, staying healthy. Feeling good, uh, you know, kind of games training is in full swing. I'm on that regular routine that, that I always I always chase after, you know. It's, I, I like I like routine. I like staying home. I like being in my house, you know, having my facilities, all that stuff, all stuff I'm used to. I like that. Uh, this week, it's a, it's a deload week, so you know, just really in incredibly low volume. Try to bump up the intensity, but you know, I'm training maybe 20 minutes worth of work a day, you know. So I'm putting a lot more time in the warm up, you know, taking care of my body, fixing up all the little aches and pains, but uh, really trying to go hard uh, in actual work itself. I don't want that fear to go away. Um, I mean, like, I hate it. It's a very unenjoyable feeling, but at the same time, it's like, when I'm scared that I'm not capable on a workout, you know, I really focus, you know, I really, I know, like, all right, there is no room for error. There is no room for slacking off anything. So anytime, anytime I have that fear, you know, I'm. I'm willing to go to a darker place to make up for that, for that being uncomfortable or not feeling confident in that movement. Um, perfect example, I mean, regionals Nate, uh, was that, that was the 2016 season. You know, that workout, I was petrified of that workout. You know, when I did it in training, I, I got uh, eight, eight rounds plus something out of a 10 round workout. I wasn't even close to finishing it. And, um, you know, you see all the videos of guys online, you know, pumping out sets of 10 strict muscle ups with a weight vest. And it's like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Like this workout could derail me. So I'm going into that workout just like absolutely petrified. And then, and then I ended up doing well, you know, I ended up, 
I think I won the workout in my region, you know? It was like, I didn't let my mind wander for a second. I didn't care how much anything hurt during that workout. I was like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can't afford to slack off even for a second. So it's like, just keep pounding. And then there was other workouts where I was so comfortable, so lax going into it. As soon as something started to hurt a little bit, I was like, oh, I'll just back off a little bit, you know, let this pain go away. And then I f pull a 10th place in the workout and it's like, the hell, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, so it's, part of it is like, I don't want to get rid of that fear, you know, it really pushes me to strive for excellence. And then on the other end of things, like when I am feeling comfortable, like not letting that affect my performance, not letting that, that comfort creep in and you know, make me slack off. Oh, I'm getting all anxious right now. <laughs> <laughs>